Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's live broadcast, I'm going to answer the question, how deep should you install a drain field? Now, that's quite an interesting question. In fact, it's a loaded question. So I'm going to keep this really simple and show you two examples. Example one of a very deep drain field, a drainage field, and also example two, which is a shallow drain field. So let me start with the first one then. And this is based on an onion shaped septic tank. And this is going to have something in it called a herringbone soak away. So just to start with, right, let me explain why this is deep. Now with these onion septic tanks, as you can see, the outlet pipe is quite deep below the grass. In fact, the small ones start at a meter below the grass, right? And so because of this, the deeper you go means the more resistance the wastewater is going to face as it leaves the um, leaves the septic tank. So because of that, the first thing you've got to do is put a gravel bed down. All right, so you've got to dig a massive hole. Sometimes a hole can be the size of like a drainage field. But regardless of that, the first thing you've got to do is put down a load of shingle or gravel. Then when you've done that, you can con start constructing your soak away. And this is called a herringbone system because that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a herringbone, a fishbone. And the way it's distributed, you've got a single spine and the wastewater goes down that single spine and it then filters out through the um, pipes onto the gravel and then drains away. But the downside of having a herringbone system is not only is it big you know covers a wide area not only is it deep it also costs a lot to construct because not only do you need tons and tons of shingle to put a uh, or gravel to put a gravel bed down once you've laid the pipes you've then got to cover everything over with shingle again so let me just find out where that is on here there we go there's the top layer so it's almost like a sandwich right a sandwich then when you've done that once you've put your bed on then you've put another layer on top the next thing you've got to do is cover it with membrane and then when you've covered it with membrane you can then cover everything over with soil but the point being is that is typically um what a large deep, uh, deep drainage field looks like. So now let me give you example number two. Now personally, yes, call me biased if you want. This is my favorite kind of soak away that we're going to look at now. Why? Because they're really easy to install. They work amazingly and they cost you hardly anything to install compared to a herringbone soak away. So let me show you, let me show you this example here. So this next one is called um, Easy Drain. And it's like, I suppose, a contemporary of um, the herringbone system, but it's a lot shallower. So number one, why is it shallower? Well, it's shallower because the septic tanks that they use with this kind of Easy Drain, kind of modern herringbone soak away are low profile shallow bullet septic tank so you can see that's really shallow and because of that oh let me get there the outlet pipe on the septic tank is is shallow as well it's not it's only a few inches or a foot below the grass right and so because of that the trenches that you dig are really shallow they're not you know they're really again just an inch or so below the grass and so let me give you an aerial view now so once you've dug your trenches so this is a typical um, um, shape of what an easy drain kind of soak away will look like so let me just try and get that in picture for you so once you've put that in literally you just lay these easy drain pipes into the trench like so now when you've done that 
you'll notice, I mean, how long did that take? All right, it took me a couple of seconds on screen, but in reality, they take about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to do once you've, once you've dug the trenches. And as I said, you just literally lay the pipe down into the trench and that's it. And this particular kind of soak away, this easy drain, doesn't need any shingle or gravel. And um, because it's, if you look, it's actually got the membrane, all right, wrapped around the pipes. And so because of that, right, you save yourself a lot of time and effort and money of not um, having to put any, uh, as I said, gravel or to, number one, buying it, and number, one, <laughs> number two, having to put it in the holes. And so literally, how does it work? Well, all the wastewater will leave through the outlet pipe here. It will then enter the silt chamber there, and then it will make its way to the pipes. And so let me just show you what the water looks like. Then the water uh, will make its way through the easy drain. It will then soak into the soil and drain away. And it really is as simple as that. And... Um, once you've done that, once you've dug it, um, just trying to, there you go, you just literally cover it with soil and job done. And so personally, out of the two soakaways there that I've shown you, my favourite, yes, and I am biased, but I'm biased for a good reason, is the easy drain. Let me show you why I prefer that type of soakaway. It's simple because, let me just um, open the trench let me just open the trench here again and show you because number one the pipes for a tip are, are really cheap to buy i mean these start at like 299 for a complete soak away they take you about half an hour an hour an hour and a half tops to dig the trenches and then by the time you finish it you finished it in literally an hour now when we compare that to the herringbone so uh, the um, yeah the herringbone soak away. Let me just strip this back again. So let me take the gravel off the top. There you go. Now typically, uh, even a small herringbone system like this will cost you at least fifteen hundred, two thousand quid to, um, to 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 do to install um, to dig the hole to install it to buy all the bits and the bobs that go into it and it also takes about a week to do so for me personally for that reason the easy drain kind of system uh, wins through every time it's it's a no-brainer for me so there you go I hope that's helped you so the original question was if I can find it how deep should you install a drainage field? Well, basically, the drainage field will be the depth of the outlet pipe on your septic tank. So if you've got an onion-shaped septic tank or a concrete septic tank, then be prepared to go quite deep into the soil. The deeper you go, the bigger your drainage field has got. If you use something like the easy drain or the drainage field crates, then you literally only have to go an inch or two below the grass and you get all the benefits with that, you know, easy to install and you save lots of money. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this um, live video today, this broadcast. Um, if you'd like to see more free videos, then just go to septic tank TV or you can type in septic tank TV in Google. And if you subscribe to my septic tank TV channel, you'll be in with a chance to win a free easy drain soak away kit. So once again, thank you for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.